guys, I'm back and thank you for responding to your quizzes. And at the same time, gusto ko lang i-shout out syempre yung mga estudyante ko na naka-perfect score. So next time, maging uh, mas uh, intindihin ba natin yung mga tanong para magkutan natin, pa-perfect natin after the end of the vlog. So syempre, unang-una gusto kong mag-shout out kay Mark Villanueva. Ayan. Congratulations, Mark! Ganun din, shout out din ako kay uh, Calma. Ayan, kay Kendall Calma and Rowena Pulikoy. Ganun din kay Jason Molina. Ayan. And Elmo, Agapito, Patrick, Apurillo, Giro Angeles, John Paul, Labore, Mark Jovan Peralta. Thank you so much and uh, continue to uh, stay tuned to my video vlogs, my NSI vlogs, and um, other travel vlogs. Ganun din sa kay Kintin Colibao. Yan. Congratulations, Kintin Colibao and Rochelle Ortiz. Ayan, sa mga naka-perfect 10. Ganun din kay Mitch Eges, kay Entra Camildred, Yibi Pasqua, Jamila Tayag. Ayan. Sa mga naka-perfect score sa inyo, congratulations. And sa mga si Johnny Trent before, kay Sharin, yan, uh, I hope na patuloy kayong mag-subscribe at manood. Continue to stay tuned to my channel. And don't forget to like, watch, and subscribe. See ya! Several bad puns later. Okay, ho 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 sa go. So let us continue our topic which is all about the self. Okay. <laughs> all about the cell, yeah. The cell is uh, what we call, can be eukaryotic or prokaryotic, which means we are talking about eukaryotic cells. They have the true nucleus, meaning to say this is a cell that has a nucleus because prokaryotic cells doesn't have any true nucleus. So, uh, a typical cell has a uh, different organs that can be found inside of it. So, uh, these are what we call organelles, meaning to say small organs that can be found in a cell that performs a specific function okay so each organelle is very important and plays a vital role to uh, maintain the cell as living so uh, there are three major parts of the cell so we have cell membrane which is the outer layer of the cell and then we have the cytoplasm which is all about the a gel-like substance that can be found uh, inside the cell and then at the center of it we can see the nucleus so those are the three basic or major parts of the cell see you guys again a few inches later thousand years later Whew. so welcome back we will continue our topic for today so uh, let us go to uh, the different organs that can be found inside the cell so let's start inside okay we can find the nucleus inside the cell that which is uh, which is the control center of the cell where the chromosomes are located so uh, we can find there the chromatin materials where uh, the traits and hereditary uh, attributes that can be found in an organism. Then uh, we have nucleolus. 
Then, uh, it is a small circular structure within the nucleus. It manufactures ribosomes. And then, we have the next one, the chromosomes. Okay. It contains the genes, yan sinasabi ko kanina, which are uh, hereditary genetic materials or the DNA found in the nucleus. Then, we have the mitochondria. It's like a pin shape. And then, it is considered as a powerhouse of the cell. And then, yan, powerhouse, ha? Huh? Okay. So, uh, next, we have the rough. Endoplasmic reticulum, it is like a street like that. It is where the ribosomes are located. And then we have the smooth ER. So we have two types of endoplasmic reticulum. The other one is rough and the other one is smooth. So it doesn't mean that when smooth, there are no ribosomes. But there are uh, a lot of uh, ribosomes in rough, unlike sa smooth. So mas marami sa rough, unlike sa smooth. And then, uh, in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is, this is where the synthesis of fatty acids and steroids. Okay, so dyan sa nabubuo, ibig sabihin. And then we have the Golgi complex, Golgi apparatus, or Golgi bodies, which is considered as the packaging center of the cell. So dito lahat nangyayari ng pagpapackage nila ng, ng mga, it's either fatty acids, either uh, part ng protein that can be a food source in the cell. And, and then we have the lysosome, the suicidal bug of the cell. So, uh, kapag, uh, yeah, so ito yung nagkukos ng, uh, ito nagkukos kung bakit ang cell ay namamatay. From the word lysosome, lytic, meaning to say may tendency siyang mamatay. Yeah, and then we have the centrosome and centriole, which is the main function is to uh, divide, okay, for cell division. Yeah, para mas maparami na maparami ang cell. Then we have the plasma membrane or cell membrane which serves as the covering of the cell that uh, guard the cell. Para siya security guard. Okay? A semi-permeable membrane. So, uh, it is very selective. Hindi lahat pinapapasok, hindi lahat pinapalabas like that. Then we have the vacuole. Uh, vacuoles are storage of food and uh, sometimes water especially that can be found in plant mas larger yung and then we have the vesicles they are enclosed membrane compartments which can uh, be filled with water sometimes protein and sometimes nutrients and then we have the cytoplasm the living fluid of the cell it's a gel like substance so kung nakita na kayo ng uh, itsura ng uh, what do you call this yung color white ng egg yeah that is the cytoplasm and then we have two distinct uh, organelles that can be found only in uh, the plant cell. Okay, so we have the cell wall and then the chlorophyll. Cell wall it serves as the barrier. It covers the cell membrane. It uh, serves as the gives the rigidity shape of the plant. The cell wall is also made up of cellulose, the same thing that paper is made of. Remember that paper came from plant. Okay, then uh, chloroplast. Chloroplast is uh, an organelle that contains the chlorophyll, the green pigment of the plant. So this is where it captures the light and where the, the photosynthesis happens. Okay, this is where the photosynthesis took place inside the chloroplast so that the, uh, the plant can make their own food. Okay. And then uh, there are also uh, there are also organelles that can be found in uh, animal cells, okay? Like the flagellum. The flagellum, it is the locomotory organ of the cell where uh, serves part or organ that is used for movement like that. So, basically, it can be found in the sperm cell. Yeah. Next, we have centrioles and centrosome, which is responsible for the cell division. And then... Uh, the largest cell that we can see, actually, hindi naman kasi lahat ng cell ay microscopic. There are macroscopic cell, so na pwede nating makita that can be seen by our naked eyes. In yung egg, yan yung sa manok, iba pag binuusa mo, that is a large egg. Okay, but the largest uh, cell that can be found in human body are egg cells. So, yan yun. Isa sa pinakamaliit din ang sperm cells because our body is made up of billions and billions and billions of cells. So, uh, stay tuned to our uh, next topic. Okay, see ya. Hey! So guys, do not forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Again, teacher that. Okay, do not forget. See ya!